Uh, so how you doing, brother? Good, have good. a lot more uh, for you when we got here. Uh, how, what are you most excited to see about, you know, you guys know what you guys have done and what you got. What are you most excited to see when it's all put to the test, whether it's the scrimmage or Kentucky or even a month into the season? You know, what, but when it really starts to hit the road here, what are you sort of interested in seeing how you guys all put it together, you know? Uh, when, we, when we face adversity, you know, we got, most of, we got some of our team back. And we lost some key components last year, but the adversity we face, not only within the game, but – but if we, if we, you know, we drop, how are we going to respond? You know, expectations, we're going to be the talk of the town, almost, I would say, just because we're expected of so much, you know. But I'm not going to if we drop on this. I hope we don't. But within that, just how we respond, you know, that's going to tell us a lot about our team. You, you can just tell a lot about people, not, on, not in times of highs, but in times of lows when you're going through things and just how they respond. And I'd rather go through somebody who's lost 99 times and won 99 times. They know they want to keep fighting and they know how to respond. So I feel like we got those set of people on this team, and I feel like we got some real competitors. When you look back on your summer now, when you look back on the summer now, was there anything? I mean, did the success you had last year was that sort of able to fuel you and take things to a different level for you, just in terms of um, effort, time in this gym here? I mean, you know, it's it's one thing to just be like, all right, this is what I got to do this summer, but you really ended last year on a high note. Did that sort of push you right into a summer where you're like, oh, I'm going to do more than I ever had. You know, you know realizing that, that it was a tough stretch for me when I when I got that starting job and I, and I continued to go through the season, it was a tough stretch for me. But just seeing myself, you know, put the ball in the basket, play defense, just have fun with it again, it just brought me back to the light of it's the fun that I used to have before. You know, I wouldn't say it was a time that I, I was depressed or I, or I just hated basketball, but we all can be honest. It was a rough stretch. It was a rough time for me. And if my parents even saw it in me like, it was like I wasn't having fun. You know, I didn't and I have to realize that just putting the ball in the basket does not create all fun for me. You know, just keeping it and just realizing it's a game at the end of the day. That's what just, I would say, helped me the most in my mind and just releasing pressure off of me. You guys seem, uh, you know, you guys seem really close as a team. And that's, like, throughout the ranks. Like, I know Cassius was always kicking with you guys as freshmen a bunch last year. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of, it's just close-knit throughout the roster. Do you think that uh, gives you guys, like, a a certain edge or just is that a good combination to have when you have these expectations we, you know we, do you think we, this team is mentally sort of fit to handle these these high expectations possible bumps in the road and you know raise nothing back up there's not there's not an individual on this team at all i feel like everything we do is as a collection you know we're always hitting our group chat asking you know what what work can i can somebody meet me here to eat here or if i'm i left class and I want to go eat at the cat you know where's everybody at like come somebody come eat with me. It's, it's those type things that's going get us through those situations, you know, the, the adversity in the game when, when the team's on the run and, you know, we're down and there's a little time left. And it's just the, the camaraderie we have together and the love we have for each other is just unmatched from, from coaching staff to manager to the secretary all the way to the walk -off. You know, it's, it's, it's just love throughout everywhere and that's going to take us a long way. This is what I really wanted to ask you. You know you're being brought up as an NBA prospect now, right? Are you aware of these things? I mean, I, I hear them, but, I'm, you know, I'm a college basketball player. But isn't that, is that still kind of crazy? I mean, at this exact time a year ago, nobody really knew who you were. And yeah. No disrespect. No, no, Unless you went to Moneyball and saw you all summer there. But, like, the general fan who just turns on game one, like, oh, okay, here's a new guy. You know? Yeah. You weren't really out there on the map, like, mm -hmm. except for, like I said, people that were Moneyball and things. One year later, you're being talked about as a possible NBA guy. Is that yeah. kind of crazy? I mean, it's, and I'm not saying you're going to leave this year. I'm not saying absolutely. Absolutely. Just absolutely. Just the idea that it's all out there you know, from a year to now. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy, you know, it's just everything I pray for, you know, God is is, is blessing me with, with things every day, you know, I can't take those things for granted, but yeah, it's, it's, it seems surreal sometimes that my dreams are coming true, it just, it just shows you how good God is and the grace that he has for us and just everything he has in store for us, it's, it's everything to me, you know, I wouldn't be here without him and just knowing that, that he's always going to be there for me and knowing that he's not going to put me in any place I'm not prepared for, that he wants me to be. That's where my that's where my my peace lays right there. I mean, I can't put pressure on like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Or, oh, I need to stay here to get. Oh, it's, I'm on his time. You know, I'm not on anybody anybody else's time. I just gotta go at his pace, his patience, and just focus on just the day and never do more. Part of that's probably rewarding though, too. Mm -hmm. Like you said, to have that. I mean, you grew up watching these teams, seeing these logos. You always want your name to be associated yeah. with that. And, and in, in a way, it kind of is. I mean, does that, is that part of this rewarding? And you, you can get lost in that stuff as a player at my age, as a sophomore, even as a freshman. It's just, if somebody's supposed to be one and done, you can get lost in all that stuff. Like, I got to get out of here. I, I got to do right. You can get so caught up in the years before, and, and, and not years, but years after, and down the line that you just lose sight of what's in front of you. 
and, and, and you just and you put so much pressure on yourself that you can't even focus. I mean, that's some of the stuff that I went through last year. I mean, I just I wanted to be so good for this team, and I felt like I let them down in a sense with, with this, how I was playing. So I feel like that was the worst part between that stretch that I went through was just I wasn't up to par. You know, I wasn't even I was almost the the one that was wasn't ready to play. But he but he threw me in the fire, and, and I'm just glad I came on when, when the time came. Do you think coming in as a guy who was you know you weren't you didn't come in like Gary where everybody knew you know top ten guy and was sort of on that one and done path and all that ended up doing two whatever but like um, do you think coming in the way you came in where you sort of make a name for yourself um, and you did so early but where you sort of had to take that path did that help now to sort of deal with all this noise and hype around you just to yeah. sort of be a self made type of guy I guess for lack of a better term I mean I'm, I'm far from self made it's been a, it's been a bunch of hands that have helped me and turned me into the person I am today. But, you know, that's how I always got it. Nothing was ever handed to me or anybody that in, in my family. Nothing was ever handed to me. We worked for everything. And uh, that's just how I was brought up. My parents told me I had to work for everything that I ever wanted. You know, I came in with no stars, no ranking. I mean, that's, that's fine. You know, I still get an opportunity to work. I'm still at a, at a college where people trust me and people believe in me to just show what I can do. And that's all that matters. I didn't need any validation from, from any any stars or any rankings, any I didn't need that. You know, at the end of the day I'm a basketball player and I'm a man first and I'm gonna be that always.